Hello students, uh, today my topic is uh, in the chapter called income from salaries. We have various elements or components of salary in that allowance is uh, one of the major topic and this is one of the important topic. Out of these uh, topics, you will get a minimum of 10 marks. One question for 6 marks and the remaining will be there in the 14 marks question or 16 marks question. Okay, this is very important chapter, income from salaries. Kedis kudi, ye allowances, so salary li one part to, so one of the component of the salary, so ye chapter tumba important to, let me start with the allowances. What is allowance? See, allowance meaning, it is a, a fixed sum of money received by the employees, this is employees, from their employers, to meet their official or personal expenses. That means if the employee receives any fixed sum of money, it's a fixed sum which is received every month as a part of the salary, as an additional to the salary, it is received in the form of cash or in the form of money in order to meet personal or official purposes expenses. So it need not be personal expenses, it need not be official, it may be both or it may be any one. And let us see, see there are three types of allowances. One is called as a fully taxable allowances, other one is called as a fully exempted allowances and third category is partly taxable and partly exempted allowances. Now let us discuss one after one, fully taxable allowances. <coughs> See, fully taxable allowances, there are around uh, 13 fully taxable allowances are there. In that, first one is city compensatory allowance. Why this city compensatory allowance is given? See, if the employee is working in a city and the employees who are working in the city, they will have some special expenses in living in the city. So thereby, if the employer is given any allowance called as city compensatory allowance, it is fully taxable. All of you understood? The second one is dearness allowance. See, dearness allowance is also called as a high cost of living allowance. High cost of living allowance. If your cost of living, you know that, everybody knows that, see, cost of living increases year after year, day after day, year after year. So, when I was working in 1995, I was getting 3000 rupees of salary. Now, 2018, I cannot live with the 3000 rupees of salary. My salary is increased with uh, the allowance called as a dearness allowance because the cost of living is increasing and proportionately the employer is also increasing the salary by giving me a fixed sum of money in the form of dearness allowance. Andre, dearness allowance and the cost of living go, Yavaglu one day Tarairo Dilla, Jasti Akhtar today, Akadre, Nene rate petrol go, Yambatrupai, Yapatai Rupaito, Iga, Yambatun Rupai, Nala Yambatai Rakoto, Akireto, Belereto, Yella, Edibulailo, Yella put a rate Jasti Akhtar today. So, other rate a lay, now a salary lead Matlik Agala, Adike, employer in Matane, allowance Portane, other name, dearness allowance, at the high cost of living allowance. So, I hate So, I hope you understood about dearness allowance. Next is tiffin and lunch allowance. Tiffin or lunch allowance. Generally, this tiffin and lunch allowances will be provided to the sales executives or the salesmen. Always will be traveling outside the office and in order to meet their tiffin or lunch allowance, this will be given and it is fully taxable allowance. Next is medical allowance, fixed medical allowance. See, if the employer is not given any medical insurances or any sort of medical insurance facilities, then the employer will be given to you every month you will be given around 100 or 200 or 500 per month as a medical allowance. You may be fall sick or you may not be fall sick but still you will be receiving this money every month up along with the salary so thereby it is considered as a fully taxable allowance. 
Next is servant alliance. What is servant alliance? See, if you are engaged in a, a job and you need a servant to help you and the company may provide you an alliance called as a servant alliance and the company or employer may ask you to appoint a servant for you and the company will be giving the servant alliance. That is considered as a fully taxable alliance. Next is overtime alliance. What is overtime? It is over and above the normal time. Normal time in India is 8 hours. So if you are working more than 8 hours, that more than 8 hours, excess of 8 hours, each hour will be paid an extra money. Say for example, if every hour if you are paid 500 rupees and if you have worked for 1 hour extra, that is 8 plus 1, that 1 hour will be paid either double or one and a half time of the, your normal salary. That is called as a overtime allowance. Next is deputation allowance. Deputation allowance means what? When you are transferred from one place to the other place, you need to move from one place to the other place and you will have certain expenses in order to move from one place to the other place. That moving expenses is considered as a deputation allowance. Usually deputation will be given to such employees will be promoted and transferred to some other place. So you will be paid deputation allowance. Next is project allowance. See project, see project allowance is something when you are working in a project in one place and if that project is get completed, it will be uh, deputed or transferred to the other project. So all of a sudden you have to move from one project to the other project. That is considered as a project allowance. I left out with this marriage allowance. Marriage allowance is something will be paid an allowance to get married okay if you are a single and you want to mingle so when you are a single when you want to mingle definitely the employer may provide you an allowance called as a marriage allowance next is warden allowance warden allowance is usually you know when you are working in a, a place where you are an employee as well as in a warden in the hostel maintained by the employer and the company one do hostel and maintain matter of the hostel give up a warden beko. A warden employee ne up a warden nagi matter of the own ge salary plus a own no warden nagi hostel kelsa matter of the in the warden allowance and a quarter. Non practicing allowance and third day usually give the doctors get quarter. Yak doctors a quarter, yawthara doctors a quarter and re it may be given both for government and non government employees. Suppose if I am running a, an hospital. Always, I expect my doctors to be served completely their full time in my hospital. And in order to encourage them to work in my hospital, I will be given to them not to practice outside. Whatever you practice outside, the same amount I will give you. So don't practice outside in order to discourage practicing outside the hospital or a cleaning. I will be given a non-practicing allowance that is called as a non-practicing it is fully taxable again. Next is employees education allowance. Suppose if I am an employee of a company or an, uh, in a company and if I want to do my further education or additional education or an addition, additional training, the company if they give me any allowance to complete my education that is considered as one of the allowance which is fully taxable next is foreign allowance to the non-government employees see if i am a non-government employee a private government employee and if i am deputed to the foreign country whatever the expenses or the allowances which the company is giving it to me it is fully taxable as per the income tax act of 1961 so these are the some of the fully taxable allowances which we can understand properly so now let us come back to the second category or second type of allowance. One is called a fully exempted allowance. What is this fully exempted? There is no need to pay tax on the benefit whatever you receive from the employer for the money you receive from the employer. What is those are foreign allowances to government employees? Means see allowances, foreign allowance to non-government employees fully taxable. But foreign allowances to government employees is fully exempted because the government employees are meant for public service. Thereby, any employee, government employee who deputed to foreign country, 
and if the government is giving any allowances for them it is completely exempted next one is allowances from UNO if you are an employee come the member of United Nation organization UNO is nothing but United Nation organization if you are a, an employee come the member of UNO and if any allowances is given by the employer the company nimma company enadru employee avano member of UNO agidre anta allowances na na full exemption kodtivi next is allowances to high court and supreme court judges yavade riti agirthakanta allowances given to the judges of supreme court and high court judges are completely exempted see these are the sum of the uh, uh, allowances which are fully exempted now let us come to partly taxable and partly exempted this is a uh, very very important from the point of examination see my dear guys from this uh, fully taxable allowances there are 13 fully uh, taxable allowances are there you will be asked minimum of 3 to 4 minimum of 3 to 4 fully taxable allowances in that dns allowance may be a 100% guaranteed coupon <coughs> and medical allowance may be 100% guaranteed point and uh, warden allowance or project allowance these are the some of the important allowances which may definitely come in the examination now let us come to uh, partly taxable and partly exempted in partly taxable and partly exempted first one is children's education allowance see if i am working in a company and if i am if i am having any children and if my company is giving me any allowances for my children's education andre nanage makkaliddo nanna makkalige namma company enadru allowances kodta idare education purpose ge ant heli adu partly taxable partly exempted agutte nan board mel bardirod whatever i have written on the board it is a only exempted portion see for example illi exempted up to 100 rupees per month for two children anta helta idini that means it is children's education allowance is exempted up to 100 rupees per month per child for a maximum of two children i will show you one example here say for example i have two children and my company is given 200 rupees for one kind one child say 200 rupees is given for one child assume that i have a two children if i have two children for 12 months my company is given it comes to 4 12 fours of 4800 rupees now what is an exempted limit here is 100 rupees per month for two children that means 100 rupees for two children for 12 months 2400 is exempted and remaining 2400 becomes a taxable portion andre nanage company 200 rupees kottide nanage ibbaru makkal idare ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಪರ್ ಮಂತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಎಕ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ನಾನೂರು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಉಳಿದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ನಾನೂರು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಕಟ್ಟಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯಿತು ನಮಗೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ ಅಲೋವೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ ಅಲೋವೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ಮೈ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ and if my company is if my company suppose if my company is uh, my children's are studying in an hostel and my company is giving my children's education expenses or education allowance see here what is the exempted limit is 300 rupees per month per child for a maximum of two children in an example we will see if uh, 300 is given for three children for 12 months it becomes 600 uh, 900 9800 rupees but exempted limit is 300 into 2 into 12 so 7200 will be exempted and the remaining amount see if my company is given me 300 rupees and i have three children assume that i have three children 
how much is giving 10,000, 800 they are giving. But as per the income tax rules, 300 rupees I can get only for two children, for a maximum of two children, for 12 months it comes to 7,200, for remaining 3,600 is a taxable. Now, let me explain you one more point here. Suppose if I don't have three children, I have only one child. And my company is given 600 rupees for my kid as an hostel allowance. Then 600 into 1 for 12 months it becomes 7200. But how many kids have? Only one kid. I cannot get maximum two children because I don't have two kids. 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 I don't have two now, yes, the whole both exemption now I can take 300 into 1 into 12, 3600, and remaining 3600 is taxable. I hope all of you understood. Artha Aide and Kurigine, Ide example, education allowance go apply. I can tell there, you got suppose education allowance 100 rupees exempted. Suppose none get Nalajana Makli the rent corner. Company in no rupee put that. Innoro into 4 into 12, 800, <coughs> 800 is 9600. Okay, now what is exemption portion is 100 into 2 into 12. Yaka and till there, no knowledge jana makle erbodo. Company knowledge jana kuno innoro in rupa kurta there. Adre exemption kurta there is to only 100 into 2 into 12, 2400 matra. They, Remaining 7,200 will be taxable. <coughs> I hope all of you understood. Let me come back to the next allowance called as a transport allowance. <coughs> transport allowance and the See, non company, my company is not given me any transport uh, facility for me. They don't have own cab, they don't have own bus, nothing. What they are telling is you travel from your home to office, office to home, your home. We will be giving you some allowance called as a transport allowance. If your company is giving more than 1600 rupees, then it is taxable. If your company is giving up to 1600, it is exempted. Say for example, Nim company, Yarad Sa Rupa Kurti Rapa, Tinglege, and the head of the road. Hagar, Yarad Sa Rupa, one Tinglege, under the Tinglege style to Ipat Nalak Sara, 24,000 I. Exemption portion is to 1600 into 12. Correct? So, whatever the amount you get, so 12,000 plus 7,000, 19,200 rupees, that will be exempted and remaining will be taxable. Suppose, in case if the employee is physically challenged, physically challenged, PHC and Federer, physically handicapped or physically challenged, then we will help you. get double of this amount. And right, Savur Darno exemption bearer got there, Mamali Chanagara Munishan got there, physically handicapped got there, 3200 rupees per month to exemption. I hope you do put on your time, Marconi Dranta, only thing. Next to tribal area allowance. Tribal and Reno, if you are working in a, a tribal area, tribal area means outskirts of the city, outskirts of the town, outskirts of the village. Antaduna, now tribal area, the head to be 300 rupees per month work in the exemption. If your company is giving more than 300, then it is taxable. And 300 into 12 is 3600. More than 3600 is fully taxable. Entertainment allowance, we'll come back later. Let's consider underground allowance. What is this underground allowance? Means the employees who are working in underground means say, say for example municipal corporations they will be working in a sanitary underground sanitary works and all and it may be you know very difficult to work there sometimes there will be no proper you know oxygen available for them they may die there also and it is a risky job for them and sometimes the employees who are working in a mining company the, they will be digging bent of the earth and suddenly they may collapse, the earth may collapse or the uh, ground may collapse 
and they may not get a good oxygen, they may die that, that, that place. Thereby, they will be given an extra money called as a 800 rupees per month. It is up to 800 is accepted. Some companies, they may give more than that. If they give more than that, then it is taxable. If they give up to 800, it is fully exempt. Now, house rent allowance. Now, we will discuss house rent allowance, house rent allowance and entertainment allowance. Now, let us discuss uh, some of the left out partly taxable allowances and partly exempted. See, my dear students, this uh, topic is very, very important for six marks because in so many years, they asked uh, just to calculate house rent allowance they are given for six marks. And this is a uh, very, very important. And uh, I will tell you some of the, I mean, rules for house rent allowance how much it is taxable and how much it is exempted. Now, if uh, you take it as a computation of taxable allowances, so I'll keep it as, uh, this is an inner column, this is an outer column. All of you got it? So let me take it as a, uh, in exactly how we will compute in the uh, salary. Now, what is the actual HRA received? What is HRA first of all? House rent allowance. If the employee is living in an, a rented house and if he is paying any rent, if he is paying any rent, then if the company is giving any allowance in order to meet his rental expenses, then it is comes under HRA bracket. See, for example, if the employee is staying in a own house and if he is getting any HRA, it is fully taxable because he is staying in a rented house, not paying any rent, then it is fully taxable. See, if the employee is staying in his own house and if he is not paying any rent, then it is fully taxable. It, be, it is nowhere it is exempted because he is staying in his own house. Second one, if suppose if the employee is uh, staying in a house but he is not paying any tax, I mean rent. If he is not paying any rent, say for example, if he is staying in, in his mama's house, mama means uh, uh, father-in-law's house, then definitely he will not be paying any rent because he is staying in his uh, father-in-law's house or mama's house he is not paying any rent, then also whatever the HRA is receiving from the employer company, it is fully taxable. Now, where it is taxable, in which case it is taxable and in which case it is exempted. See, it is a partly taxable and partly uh, uh, exempted allowance. Now, let us see how it can be. See. What is the actual HRA receipt? Being you are staying in a rent, a rented house, and you are paying rent, absolutely. Your company may be giving you some amount of house rent allowance. It may be usually 20% of your basic salary or 15% of basic salary. It depends upon one company to the another company. Bargay money lido, bargay kurta itre matra, inta echare taxable agute. Yes to taxable agute, yes to la notuna, ignora. Yes to new company in the HRA receive money. How much HRA you received the from the company? That is to be first point. Next is the least of the least is exempted. Means there are three points here. Out of these three amounts, whichever is lower, whichever is least, will be given exemption from the actual HRA receipt. Now, let us see what are the three least of the items. Same amount, whatever you receive here, you will take it here. 40% or 50% of salary. See, uh, salary. It's a very, very important. Salary means what? Is it basic salary? Is it all taxable allowances which are fully taxable and fully exempt or whatever it is? Then what is the meaning of salary here? See, very simple. Salary is nothing but salary for HRA. It is basic salary plus dearness allowance if it is enters into retirement benefit plus commission if it is paid on 
percentage on sales see these three components put together we call it as a salary for the purpose of hra nano previous video lo heli dini gratuity in case of non government employee salary yenen anthe helide same helide one sari gratuity video nodidre nimge ella gothagutte basic salary plus da enters into retirement benefit plus commission percentage on sales ಈ ಮೂರು ಸೇರಿಸಿದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಆ ಸ್ಯಾಲರಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲರಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲರಿ ನಾವು ಯು ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಡೌಟ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಹೌಸ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕೆಲ್ಕಟಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಮುಂಬೈ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ಸಿ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ರೈಟ್ ಮುಂಬೈ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕತಾ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಕತ್ ಓಕೆ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಟ್ರೋಪಾಲಿಟಿನ್ ಮೆಟ್ರೋಪಾಲಿಟಿನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟ್ಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೋಣ ಸಿ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟ್ಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಇದ್ದು ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇದು ಒಂದ್ ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇದು ಮೂರ್ ಲಕ್ಷ ಬಂತು ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಧ ಎಷ್ಟು ಒಂದೂವರೆ ಲಕ್ಷ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಪರ್ ಆನಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಯಾ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟ್ಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಕಲ್ಕಟ್ಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಉಳಿದಿರೋ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಪುಣೆ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಮೈಸೂರು ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಕೊಡೈಕೆನಲ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಪೇಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಪೇಡ್ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಪೇಯಿಂಗ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕಂಪನಿಯಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಬೇಡ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಅವನ ಪ್ಯಾಕೆಟ್ ಇಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರೀರಿ ಈ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕಿ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಒಂದು ಐದು ಸಾವಿರ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಂಗೆ ಕೋಣ ಅರವತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಐದು ಸಾವಿರ ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗಾದ್ರೆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆ ಅರವತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಆಯ್ತು ಸಪೋಸ್ ಈ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೋಣ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ
एक्चुअल एच ये एंटरटेनमेंट ऑलवेज हम वट एवर द अमाउंट यू आर रिटर्न या प्लीज टेक इट या ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ बेसिक सैलरी वट इज योर बेसिक सैलरी ऑन दैट ट्वेंटी परसेंट सी बेसिक सैलरी नाट फॉर वन मंथ फॉर ट्वेलव मंथ हनर तिंग क्यालक्युलेट मी सपोज नई सवि बेसिक सैलरी बरत वर्ष के ट्वेलव मंथ के सिक्सटी थौसंड आगते मेल ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट एस्ट आगत ट्वेलव थट अमौंट वी हू टेक इट या And maximum limit is five thousand. This is per month. All this is the limit of five thousand rupees. You more only yaha odi karme borte. Adu na actual year received na le exemption ko to udhi thi rodo na tax marti ki. Y exemption portion you more only yaha odi karme borte alwa. Adu na now under section sixteen sub section two na le exemption na khorti ki. Okay. Uh, now <coughs> we will work on one small question. This is a question paper problem. It is asked in the year two thousand nine. Let us see how to solve this question. See, Miss Ranjita, a resident working in a company and getting a basic pay of rupees eight thousand per month, and DA at twenty percent of basic pay, commission at five percent of basic pay, HRA at twelve percent of basic pay. And bonus equal to two months of basic pay. She is residing in a rented house at one thousand eight hundred per month. Determine taxable portion of HRA for the assessment year eighteen ninety. Very simple, guys. <coughs> Now, <coughs> what is actually HRA received by the company is twelve percent of basic pay. Now let us see. Eight thousand is the basic pay for twelve months. It comes to Ninety six thousand rupees. This is for one year basic pay. How much they are getting? Twelve percent. On this twelve percent, very simple. On ninety six thousand, ten percent is very simple nine thousand six hundred. For two percent, okay. For two percent. Zero to one carries eighteen nineteen one thousand nine twenty. So eleven thousand five twenty. So so eleven thousand five twenty. Now this is the actual HRA received by the employee from the company. Now least is exempted. We'll take it as eleven thousand five twenty as same it is. Now. The most important thing is forty percent or fifty percent. Now, in this question, he is not given where exactly this guy is staying. This person is staying. Assume that if nothing is given, he is staying in forty percent. That means other than Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi, Madras. If it is clearly given, then we follow with the fifty percent. If it is not given, follow with the forty percent. Now. At this point, forty fifty is not important. What is the salary for the purpose? Now, if you take salary for HRA purpose, what is the rule says? Basic salary plus dearness allowance. It should enters into retirement benefit. Please look at is DA anywhere? It is given that enters into retirement benefit. It's not given, so this point will be ignored here. Next is the commission. What type of commission we have to calculate? See, a commission is five percent on basic pay. Whether he do sales or no, he will get commission. We don't want such commission to be taken here. It should be on sales. So here, sales amount is not given. So thereby, DA is also zero and commission is also zero. Then what is the basic pay? Eight thousand into twelve, and it comes to how much? Ninety-six thousand rupees will be the salary for the purpose. Now let us see. It is forty percent. It is forty percent. Very. Now uh, we. It is not fifty percent because if nothing is given, it is not from Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi, Madras. We'll take forty percent. So ninety-six thousand into. Forty percent, forty by hundred. Definitely, we will get 
38,400. Now next point is, we got the second point also. Now let us look at the third point. What is the third point here? What is the actual rent paid? See, actual rent paid him is 1,800 per month. Now let us take 1,800 into 12. See, very simple to calculate this. So how to calculate this is, I will show you on the board. 1800 into 12. Now the 12 will make it as 10 and 2. This is 18,000. This is 3600. 21,600. As simple as it is. Now 21,600. What is 10% of salary? What is the salary here? 96,000 into 10 by 100 is 9600. Now to 12,000. Now tell me guys, which is the least of these amounts? The least of the amount is, is it this, this or this? Definitely 11,520 will be the least and this amount is exempted and this amount is taxable HRA. So the taxable amount of HRA is nil. So simple question. See my dear guys, whenever you are reading question, Please don't forget whether DA, whether it is enters into retirement benefit or not and commission if it is paid on sales or no. If it is paid on, on basic pay or on profit or whatever the commission we don't take, we take only commission on sales. Okay. Now guys, let us see the second question. This is a, a question which is there in the year 2010 for six marks. Now I will read out the question. Miss Bhumika resides in Kolkata. Guys, this is very very important. It is clearly given Kolkata. Whenever we read Bombay, Calcutta or Kolkata, Madras, Chennai, whatever it is, metropolitan cities, we should take 50% of salary. Just I am reminding you, while reading the question itself, we have to understand the solution part also. During the previous year 17, 18, she gets rupees 12,000 per annum. This is not per month. This is per annum. 12,000 per annum as basic salary. That means 1,000 rupees basic salary. She gets DA at 20% of basic salary. Enters for all retirement benefit. See, here salary for the purpose. <clears throat> I will write here salary for HRA is basic salary plus DA it should enter into retirement benefit plus commission on sales that means here is given DA 20% of basic salary enters into retirement benefit <clears throat> she has also received commission of rupees 15,000 calculated on turnover or sales that means all the three points are coming over here yeah. <coughs> let us take <coughs> basic salary is 12,000 here yeah. DA 20% of 12,000 12,000 into 20% plus commission is given 15,000 now let me take 12,000 plus 20% of 12,000 is 2,400 plus 15,000, 10, 10, 20, 20 plus 5, 25, 25 plus 2, 27, 27 plus 2 is 29, 29,400. This is the salary for the purpose of HRA. <clears throat> now let us see how much HRA received. HRA received by him is 11,800 per annum for one year he received 11,800 and the least is exempted is 11,800 now as I told you we should take 50% because this guy is staying in Kolkata that is metropolitan city 29,400 into 50% see 50% how to compute 50% of 20 is 10,000. 
फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड इज फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी इज टू हंड्रेड सो टोटली फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सो सिंपल गाइज सो फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड नाउ वट इज द एक्चुअल रेंट पेड बाय हिम द एक्चुअल रेंट पेड बाय हिम इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड एट What is ten percent of salary? Twenty nine thousand four hundred into ten percent is two thousand nine forty. Now the difference of this is seventeen uh, minus nine is eight. Thirteen minus two is one one. That means eleven thousand eight hundred, fourteen thousand seven hundred, and eleven thousand eight sixty. Which is the least? Obviously eleven thousand eight hundred. So eleven thousand eight hundred is exempted. And the taxable portion of HRA is nil. I hope all of you understood. See, guys, we have discussed a, a very important topic under the head income from salaries allowances. And if you have any questions, please just post in the comment box so that I can understand and I can teach you. And if you like my video, please subscribe my channel Sai Study Circle and don't forget to press the bell icon. and please don't forget to share it to your friends because this is a, a very very important a very crucial point of uh, income from salaries thank you so much